Welcome, I'm Wolfgang Reber. These are my quick tips. Last week, I was appearing at a function and had to introduce the CEO of a company who imparted some wisdom with his staff. He shared an incredibly powerful story on the secret to success that I'd never heard of before. And it really hit home with me. So when I arrived back in the office, I immediately searched the internet to find that it was indeed past wisdom that had been shared throughout the ages and that there have been variations written about the story. This story particularly resonated with me because I remember studying the dialogues of Socrates and Plato as a young undergrad student studying communication. And I clearly recall enjoying the incredibly insightful yet simple truths that Socrates would impart with Plato. When it came to the art of oration, he truly was a master. Now today I read many of his quotations and am in awe at the depth and the deep-rooted knowledge and insight that he shared. Take the following quotations as an example. Let him who would move the world first move himself. Wow, isn't that just great? Simple and direct and so true. Here's one of Socrates' quotes that some people don't like, but it's very powerful. Worthless people live only to eat and drink, but people of worth eat and drink only to live. Think about that for a while. People who really achieve things in life and are successful are movers and shakers. They don't sit around eating the whole time and complaining about how tough life is. The successful people actually go out there and make things happen. Nice truth, huh? My favorite quote of Socrates must be, to find yourself, think for yourself. Wow! That quotation is more relevant in today's world than at any time before. Why? Because people are so conditioned today and manipulated by the media. Do you really think for yourself? Or do you act out of habit and manipulated control? Think about this. I'll do one more for you. Our world is all about change. And often, we think we are unique, but in fact, the change has existed for thousands of years. We would not have developed as a species had there not been change. It's part of who we are as human beings. And this is what Socrates had to say a few thousand years ago about change. The secret of change is to focus all your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Okay, that's enough brain food. Let me go back to the original story on the secret of success that this enigmatic Greek philosopher shared those many thousands of years ago and that was part of the many accounts to have survived antiquity as so comprehensively recorded by student Plato. And are we ever so grateful that Plato did that and that it survived? In fact, today much of our Western philosophy is founded and influenced by Socrates and Plato's contributions. The secret to success. Plato, it is said, approached Socrates one day after many years of being his student and asked what the secret to success was. He had learned many insightful things over the years, but this was still one mystery that he had not mastered. Socrates responded that the secret to success was within every person and that it would only be revealed if an individual really wanted it. Hmm. This confused Plato too. So Socrates asked him to go take a walk with him to a nearby lake, which of course they did. And as they walked, each remained in silence in their own thoughts. When they arrived, Socrates asked Plato to follow him into the water. First ankle deep, then waist deep, and eventually they were standing shoulder deep in the water. The waters were calm. Suddenly Socrates grabbed Plato's head and dumped him under the water. Naturally, a few seconds later, Plato started struggling, yet Socrates kept holding him down. He was a strong man and he held that grip. Plato was gasping for air. Eventually, with the remaining strength that he had left, Plato managed to free himself, 
gasping, spluttering. He wondered what it made Socrates nearly drown him and act so irrationally. He angrily questioned the action of Socrates, who merely responded rhetorically with another question, which was kind of the way that he gave lessons. He looked at Plato and he asked him, what was the one thing which you wanted more than anything else while you were under the water? Obviously, Plato replied that it was air. That was all that he needed. This is what he desired. This is everything he wanted while he was under the water. This was therefore to, to live. At this point, Socrates gave Plato the answer, reinforcing his earlier statement where he mentioned that the secret of success was already inside each and every one of us. He said to Plato, when your desire for success is as much as you desired the air while you were under that water, that is when you will be successful. Wow! Isn't that just so true? When you are underwater, all you need and desire is air to survive and breathe. That desire is primal and powerful. And that is the most important thing in your life. So when it comes to success, what role does the desire to become successful hold in your life? Is it as important as the need for air? Makes you think, doesn't it? Isn't that just an incredible story? I trust that I have managed to create the magic that Socrates did with Plato back at the lake and shown you the power of real desire to become successful. I look forward to seeing you again. From me, Wolfgang Rieber, until next time, cheers!